Bingo. Let's get inside and wrangle the walkers together. If we get them in one group, we can lead them right out. back to, uh, well, not to this. It's just a little surprising, that's all. I'm just glad you didn't give up on us. Real glad. I gave you my word. Javi, look! It's Clem! Gabe? Is he? No, no, he's fine. He's just banged up. What happened, Clem? Their car got overrun with walkers and crashed. I was barely able to save Gabe. What about David? David's dead. I'm just glad you found Gabe in time. Thank you. Thank you for saving Gabe. I don't know what I'd do if I lost him too. Of course. When I got there, it looked like David had turned. And that Gabe had to... stop him. Oh, God. Gabe. It's horrible. Javi? My... my dad... he... I know, buddy. He's... he's gone. No, no. He... wanted me to tell you... to... take care of each other. Where did you find them? A little ways outside of town. Not too far. Can you take Gabe somewhere safe? Yeah, uh, sure. Come on, Javi. 
Where are we going? A funeral. Over here, Kate. It's this way. God. Poor David. Poor Gabe. I can't imagine. Gabe's come a long way. He's really grown. Did he really need to learn this lesson, though? He talked about this every day. What to do when he died. He was convinced it would happen in the field. Every day. As common as talking about the weather. Not surprising. He was a soldier. I used to hate talking about it. But it seemed to soothe him. He'd talk about his military funeral the way that other people talked about retirement plans. He'd only change the subject if I promised I'd bury these. He didn't care about burying his body. As far as he was concerned, this was him. Help me dig. It doesn't have to be much. Probably say something. That's what you do. Usually. I'm gonna keep watching out for Gabe. We'll take care of each other. Do you, uh, you wanna say something? Let's go. It was his own fault. If you regret helping me, if you're feeling any guilt, bury it. I mean it. Don't let it eat you up inside. We need to move on. Move forward. We do. And we will. Usually, the quiet scares me. What about now? There's a lot of work to be done. The herd could come back. Still, though, 
I feel more calm here than than I ever did in an old van on streets with no street lights. We earned this, Javi. We earned feeling calm in the quiet. Let's start a family. You and me. A fresh start. What do you say? I think it'd be good for us. You're on. Let's start a family. You don't think it's selfish? It's not the safest world outside of Richmond. Or inside it, truth be told. So long as I got you, I'm not too worried about it. <sighs> we'll be up there before we know it. Better do something worthwhile in the meantime. Heading out? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. I gotta admit, man, you're a fucking badass. You're a real charmer. You know that? Through and through. Are you really sure you don't want to stay? There's room. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure there is, but we got other people depending on us, Javi. Just the way it is. I don't meet a lot of people like you, Javi. Someone genuinely good. It was my pleasure. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let it. Trust me, though, life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. Don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Always. Good days, and especially bad. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use it. You know what? I'm gonna step up. Lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Hey, uh, Jesus? Hey, uh, Gabe. Thanks for, you know, not letting me get killed and for coming back to help us. Yeah, thanks for that, man. Pay it forward. Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. So you're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ Javi. I've waited so long. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Were you? None of your business. I'm really gonna miss Gabe. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. At least to have someone to talk to, even if he is a total dork. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but 
You know the guy's got a Mondo crush on you, right? He does not. Oh my gosh, you have a crush on him too. I do not. Well, you both have my blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you with those scissors. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. Do you think he remembers me? At least a little? Maybe? Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. I really wish I could. Did you love him? With all of my heart. And of course you were. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? If you really loved it, how? That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. If you're ready to move on, that is. If. All done. Well, how's it look? You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back.
There's never enough light to blind me.
find you, AJ. 